Hey guys, what's up? Brandon here, and today we're going to be working on the S2000 again. Today we're going to be installing or making the so hardtop quieter because it does squeak a lot. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Here is the Mugen. This is a Mugen style hardtop. I took it off the car, but I've heard most hardtops squeak. And they squeak on the seal, and it's assuming, um, you know, they don't sit flat. And, you know, even if you push it down and tighten it, they can still move. And so that's what's happening. But to get rid of that uh, gap, um, I've seen some guy on YouTube. We're going to try it. I don't know if it works, but he says it does. I forgot his name. Slip Angle or something like that. There's this foam piece he puts of weather stripping he puts on the edge right here. That the hardtop will sit on that. And I think it'll make, uh, it'll make the noise go away. And what I've done before is I grease this up. But it's like a maintenance thing it's a pain in the butt you take out some of that shinetsu grease silicone grease you put it on here and you put it on the seal over there and it actually helps the two surfaces glide with each other but today i'm gonna try uh it's called camper top weather strip i'll put the part number and where i got it. it's about 20 bucks um by a company called no idea <laughs> metro super soft sponge feel the difference metro molded parts here's the actual size of the weather stripping and here is the part number mw11425 and this is what it looks like so i'm gonna go ahead clean the surface prep it i'm gonna line this all along here i'm probably gonna have the excess fold over inside and that's gonna help seal it because i do see some air gaps in between so hopefully that helps with the new hardware for uh the hardtop because the old one was pretty bad i got some stainless hardware it's a flange serrated locking um I got a bigger oversized washer because the holes they give you on the bracket they're kind of big and this gets a little bit better and hopefully the washer doesn't bend it's stainless steel as well the bottom point is going to be missing because I took out uh, the OEM bracket for the um, roll bar so I'm only going to bolt it on to one bolt right here I think that should be good for now eventually in the future I got to make another bracket which is why I bought this aluminum I'm gonna uh, make up a connection piece, like an eye piece that goes from here to another point in the car. But for now, we're just gonna get that bolted. So this is the finished result. You can see it looks a lot better in stainless using these two uh, washer and bolt combinations. I only have a bolt in one place. Um, and the hardtop noise wasn't too bad. Um, it could be pivoting on this point still since it is like a hinge right here. Um, it could have some kind of moment right here on this hinge. Um, so yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, um, you can see this one's hanging in midair. I'm going to tie a piece of aluminum from here and bolt it and probably go down to this uh, hole that's already made down there. It's hard to tell, but I'm going to measure it and build that. But it does sound a lot better and a lot quieter with that um, foam that I installed. So I'll definitely recommend it. You can see it is sitting a little higher now. It is sitting a little higher off the car because there is that space there now. And if you have a gap, like I have one on here. It's a lot bigger and more pronounced now since I put that piece, but it does quiet it down significantly and you don't have to keep applying uh, that plastic uh, silicone on it all the time. But yeah, definitely recommend for the $20. If you guys like the video, be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below.